And the race before the big one, then it's a big one in its own right. It's the entry hurdle, Grade One, two and a half miles, Constitution Hill at the top for David Hooley, El Centro, Token, Vinny Gerard, X Adventure, Darren Thompson, Forgotten, Next, and Highland Quest, both of Martin Lidham, Ikarudu, Song, James Shea, It's a Game of Inches, Joshua Sutherland, Beach Day, David Hooley, Extreme Maneuvers, and Gold Coast, Leon Van Rensburg, Istikana, Drom, Derek Hinton, Judge Anderson, Joshua Sutherland, Moran's Dimension, James Shea, on the dark side. Craig Beck with shambolic Paul Parsons and smokescreen for David Robertson. A field of 16 then in this one. A race before the Grand National. And away they go. Big field for this. The two of these maybe dropping down in trip. One or two going up in trip. Not a real big two mile hurdle. At this meeting there's a three mile of those. So there shouldn't be too many dropping down from three. And it's El Centro Token who's going to lead them over the first of the 12. Which they all get over okay. Forgotten next on the inside in those red rum colours, which should be seen every Grand National day, shouldn't they? No runner in the Grand National this year for the red rum colours, unfortunately, as they'd all have been too far out of the handicap. Race into the third. They're all safely over that. Smokescreen didn't jump it all that well. And has now dropped to the back, but it's forgotten next. Who's in the lead from Ikarudu Song and Constitution Hill in Mauler's Dimension and Highland Quest with Istikana Drom next to them and wide on the outside the green jacketed El Centro Token as they get to the fourth of the twelve and forgotten next continuing the lead. Ikarudu Song and Istikana Drom and Constitution Hill El Centro Token wide on the track the purple and white stripes of Highland Quest Extreme Maneuvers is the first of the Leon Van Rensburg pair with X Adventure and that one's outside. Then it's a game of inches and Gold Coast. Then Judge Anderson, Leon Van Rensburg and Joshua Sutherland. The only people I think with horses in the handicap in the Grand National. There may be one other. I can't remember off the top of my head. We'll check later. They're all safely over that one. But towards the back of the field, Shambolic is the back marker. And I hope everybody got a look at Paul Parsons' excellent guide to the big race and his form guide about what's going to happen really good stuff hopefully see more of that next season more people involved in doing things it's also a big shame that his horse wasn't allowed to run in the race later as I'm sure he wouldn't have known that he wasn't allowed to be in as a six year old in the SO world with a few rules that we've got that's sort of harsher than the real rule if you like but anyway like in my first season commentated a five-year-old on the Grand National which I think is one of the reasons why the rule was brought in because it was the way the, the game was coded in those days five-year-olds were unbeatable now five-year-olds couldn't win a donkey derby and nobody's got a five-year-old in the flat order jumps they've gone from one extreme to the other but anyway, it's Istikana Drom who's gone clear now. Of Highland Quest in second. And Smokescreen and Moreland's Dimension. Over the seventh they go. That's one of the good things about SO7. It did get the jumps ages about right now. You've got seven and eight year olds doing better at the jumping, seven, eight year olds and nine year olds. They get over the eighth. Whereas back in SO6 days, really. It, five-year-olds and six-year-olds and that they were winning everything anyway over the ninth they go and a mistake there by is the kind of drummer seen Highland Quest go back into the lead smoke screens creeping up the inside nicely for David Robertson who's having a good week then comes Beach Day Ikarudu songs after that one then El Centro Token and comes Judge Anderson Gold Coast is next as they head down towards the third last flight Highland Quest will lead over it from Smokescreen and Beach Day. Then comes Judge Anderson, El Centro Token, Ikarudu Song is after that. There's plenty with chances in this. It's wide open, this one. And Beach Day has just about got the lead from Smokescreen and Highland Quest. And there's about seven or eight in a line for third, for fourth. 
Well, at the moment, Beach Day's the leader coming down to the second last. Beach Day from Highland Quest in second. Then comes Smokescreen in third. El Centro Token has just about moved into fourth over the second last. And Beach Day's in front. Highland Quest chasing in second. Then comes Forgotten Next. Gold Coast Constitution Hill now starting to run on the outside. This is the final flight. And over it goes Beach Day. Highland Quest on the inside is trying to close. Here comes Judge Anderson. And racing down towards the final half furlong. It's Beach Day in the lead. Highland Quest on the inside. Can't quite quicker than Beach Day's holding on. Highland Quest one last lunge on the inside. Beach Day is holding on. Highland Quest is trying to get closer. Beach Day just. Highland Quest second. And then Smokescreen Ikarudu song. I thought for a second there. What oh, disastrous season was going to get a little bit of a highlight. Highland Quest almost reading in Beach Day. But David Hooley is the king of the hurdlers. And coming second to him is no mean feat. Beach Day takes it for David Hooley. Highland Quest for another big race in second. Four miles in lead. Extreme Maneuvers, Leon van Rensburg third. X Adventure, Darren Thompson fourth. And El Centro Token for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.